Here we are in another session, the 20th out of 21 days. I must say before I get started, definitely a great walk and jog today. I get, I'm getting back to my average of 15 minutes, just did a 14 minute walk and jog. It's pretty good. Look forward if I could be able to bring it back down to um, <clears throat> 11 minutes. Um, but time will tell on that one. I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, got one more day, which is the 21 days tomorrow. Uh, June was awesome. June was an awesome month. Uh, may not have been a lot of recordings, like I mentioned before, but hey, we are here. We're live. We're exercising. I hope you're exercising too. Today, we're going to be listening to Immortal Minds. The anchors are up, leaving the loss behind. Once again, that's Immortal Minds. The anchors are up leaving the loss behind uh, as I mentioned with the workout before it's still the same uh, the single leg alternate uh, lunges where we just doing a dip here 10 reps on each side uh, the 10 squats one minute um, the Asian squat where you just sit there for one good solid minute one minute on the plank side plank 45 seconds on each side um, the curl 10 and uh, the rip right five reps hold it for five seconds and do the rep five times and counting down all the way down to one and the raises uh, the 10 reps of raise all right so we're about to get into it I'm, I'm pumped up I'm excited you know uh, <clears throat> getting my studies on right now that sacrifice moment very vague what I'm studying. I will probably share down the road what I'm studying, but right now, just that sacrificing moment of doing what's needed, okay? A lot of things that I'm already mentally prepping for the end of this year, 2023, but that's off topic. We're here to exercise, all right? So let's get into it and uh, let's go, all right? What I told her, I said, you know what? Like the time is now, like, like we have to leave those people behind. We, we have to leave those people behind, behind. It's time now that we put our mindsets on the arc, that, that we operate as if we understand what's going on. You know, we, we have to go from a state of, of trying to, because everybody goes through this state. You know, once people get some enlightenment, the first thing you want to do is share it with your loved ones. And the thing is, like I said before, I said, either people are going to come up to and meet you where you are, or they're going to bring you back down. And I'm telling you that that, that struggle that struggle is is you know it, it is no more time for that. Is it not written in your law that ye are gods? You understand what I'm saying? So it just depends on what level you own based on uh, or what level you own based on uh, whether you're human or whether you're immortal. At ease, it's your boy Soul Immortal. The anchors are up. We must leave the lost behind. You know, one of my favorite stories in the Bible, like for some reason, it's always been uh, the story about Noah and the ark, right? And I don't know if it's because this story, you know, was so, so easy to absorb at a young age. You know, you're talking about a man building a boat you know, and water coming in and flood like that. That's pretty rudimentary. You know, that, that's easy. That's an easy concept for a youngster to grab. And that was just one of the, you know, easiest stories and, and, and best stories in the Bible to me for the longest. Right. And in my mind, I could always picture, you know, I could always picture a man building a boat. You know, I, I could picture him going out saying, hey, you know, everybody get ready. Like a storm is coming. Things about to change. And, and I can imagine People just like, you know, being in a land that got very little water, you know, people just being like, oh, this bro, this, this brother tripping. You know, I, I can imagine the brother's neighbors pointing at him. I can imagine, you know, his family and friends laughing, pointing, pointing, you know, talking behind his back. I can imagine the brothers at the water cool at work, so to speak, you know, just, just, just mocking him and stuff. Right. And then I can imagine this. I can imagine... I can imagine, you know, maybe clouds starting to form. 
And I can imagine maybe a little rain starting to hit, hit, you know, hit people's arms. I can imagine, you know, you know, it start to raining and flood water start coming up. And in the past, I would always see, you know, I would see Noah just buttoning that thing up, right? And we talking about, you know, buttoning up the ship. You know, if, if you brothers in the military, you know what I'm talking about. Like, like when the, when a rain is coming in and you're in the field, or if you're in the desert and the sandstorm's coming up, you know, you, you tell soldiers to button up. You zipping all the Humvees up. You you bringing the latches down on the tanks to where nobody can get in, right? You button up. So I can imagine all this chaos going on, people beating on the doors and Noah just buttoning this thing up, right? And for the longest, that's how I imagined it. But but now I imagine it different, you know, according to the writers of the story, right? Now I imagine it, you know, I, I think that, the, you know, Noah went, out, Mo, uh, Noah, uh, Noah went out and spread the word. But I think that when the clouds started to form, you know, people just observed it, right? Kept it moving. I think I think when the rain started to hit their hands and, and the water started to rise, I don't think people were 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 panicking at all. Matter of fact, I think people just just still roamed the planet as if nothing was happening uh, until until like the Bible say their nostrils will fill. It says their nostrils will fill, and, and, and every man that was still standing on solid ground ground was 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 now dead, right? I think that's how how it played out. And the reason I think that is because of the way that the world operates right now. Because if if you observe all the chaos that's taking place right now, man, and I can go down through the list of of events that are taking place or that have been taking place, right? You still have people that are operating on a daily basis as if nothing is taking place. They're op they're operating just like 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 it's not even happening, right? You know, so that's why I, th I, I think that at the same time, I, I think that it's my belief that this world is bad enough that, you know, in the event, you know, a, a flood came through and wiped out the entire planet. I think it would be justified the way we're moving as a complete unit. It would be justified if something came and just took the whole planet off. Right. But in my mind, the, the flood, so to speak, the flood has no interest now in taking a man's life. Right now, now the flood is about consuming a man's thoughts. Right. So so if the flood is about consuming a man's thoughts, then that must mean that a man's arc is his mind. I'm telling you, brothers, I'm convinced that that the flood of our era is is information and, and that the majority of people. The far majority of people are, are wading in the waters and have no idea, right? And this is this is why I say that. This is why I think that, you know, that information is the new flood. You know, how, how many people, how many people do you know personally that are free thinkers? Right? And when I say free thinkers, you know, I used to consider myself a free thinker. You know, I'm a man that has no reli no religious affiliation. I have no political affiliation. I don't really separate myself with any of the, the major bodies of, of the world. And I used to consider myself a free thinker until I met a free thinker. And I've met a series of, of free thinkers, right? I can remember when I was in, I was in Chicago a couple of summers ago, right? I love Chicago, man. And I can remember uh, me and some of my buddies, we were kind of just checking out the city, you know, the restaurants. It, Chicago is just a bomb, right? And I can remember we came across three, I don't want to say the word Buddhist monks because I don't, I don't know the whole how it was broken up, but they were monks. And I'm talking about monks like head shaved, uh, orange robe, the band. I'm talking about they were straight full-fledged monks. And, and they would just walk around just kind of talking, man. And I stopped and I chopped it up with a man for maybe five, seven, maybe ten minutes. And what I understood just by talking to those guys, I said, you know what? Their, their minds are doing something completely different than mine. I said, their, their minds are doing something completely different than the far majority. You know how people say, and I say people say, I've heard that, that you know, that we as human beings only, only occupy 10% of our brains right now. I don't know how, how true that is, but what I do believe is, is whatever we occupy, whatever we have to occupy of our brain, I think the far, the far majority of people have crammed so much of their, 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 you know, have crammed so much 
you know, music and Netflix and, and gossip and whatever, whatever. In, in their minds that there's very little, uh, little room to expand your knowledge, very little room to expand, you know, your, your self-awareness. So I think when people isolate themselves, like, you know, live up in the Himalayas and don't, you know, when I say free thinker, I'm talking about no cell phone, no cable, no Netflix, no, no, no internet. These are people that just live in a, you know, on a certain plot of land that grow their own fruits and vegetables, maybe pump a well for water. And their only source of entertainment is each other. I'm telling you brothers, the mind does a completely different thing when you're in that state. So, so that's why I'm saying the new flood is information. You know, it, it's all about cramming as much down your throat and much in your ears, as much in your eyes as possible to keep you in a state where you don't even know what's going on. You have people today waiting in the waters, walking around as if nothing is, if nothing is taking place, man. And, and I'm telling you the time is coming where, where the waters are rising. I'm telling you the anchors are up. It's almost time for us to leave the lost behind. It is time for us to leave the lost behind. I did some work. I, I used to do a lot of work up in the up in the Midwest and you know Iowa and, and that whole you know region of the world. And up there, you see a lot of Amish people, right? And, and I always thought that the Amish were weird, just because I didn't understand their lifestyle. But once you start kind of seeing them and see how they operate and how they move, and, and they're always just happy, you, you understand what's really taking place, man. Th these are people that have, have, have taken themselves off the grid. You know, they don't do the whole electricity. I don't think they do the whole internet. I know they ain't watching no, uh, uh, I know they ain't watching no, uh, power, you know, but, but they're completely unplugged and their life is structured. You know, they're, they're living in communities. They pretty much all dress the same. There's no competition. There's nothing but peace, harmony, and love. All right, another great session. Closing thoughts. It just came to my mind, it's very random. How are you guys doing on your credit score? If your credit score over 700, 750, congratulations. I can't tell you nothing. Your credit score is good. If your credit score is over 600, 650, you know, I might could give you some inside scoop of probably paying off some of your collections or debt ratio. You know, it's that simple. Just pay it off or dispute whatever's on there that's not supposed to be on there. If your credit score is between 500 and 600, 500 to 600, come with a, uh, with a thinking cap on to be able to practice on ways to better your credit score. Uh, there's really no reason to be closed-minded if your credit score is between 500 to 600. Now, if you have some things that's like maxed out or whatever, like find some kind of way to pay little, little by little. Even if you put $5, $10, $20 towards it, eventually you will open up and say, okay, this is $20 I put on. Let me put down $50. Uh, if you're 500 or below, definitely try your best not to be hard-headed or complicated on tips and ways to better your credit score. You may have made some poor decisions that you may not knew, know how to get out of it. So definitely 500 or below credit score come with a thinking cap on. Um, those are just some of the brief tips I could share. Uh, I do look forward to getting back, recording some videos on ways to better the credit score and things like that. It's not really rocket science. It just, it requires some practice. Every paycheck or every good amount of money you receive make financial great choices. So, um, I'm pretty sure that's easier said than done. Uh, for those that like to hear somebody 
credibility like you know who gives you the right to share all that or or where your credit score is at I'm in the 700 to 800 I'm thankful to be there uh, you know there's a matter of some of my credit cards could I could bring the balance down a little bit more to zero balance whatever just let it sit um, my history about three years ago three four years ago I was below 600 I think I was at at a 580 560 somewhere there but little uh, little working here and there and some great ideas <clears throat> Working here and there, some great ideas on how to better it. I definitely was disciplined on what needed to get done. All right, so I don't know. I just felt the need to share that. Um, besides that, I hope everyone's life is going pretty well. You heard the video from Immortal Minds. Uh, it is so tempting to be on a journey for self-development, self-awareness, self-improvement that you're trying to share the information with somebody else and they may not be able to grasp the true value of what you're going through you know so um i'm glad i'm in the season that i don't feel like i don't feel that way anymore is one of those whoever gets it gets the information and build from there and uh i just take it from there so I don't know. It just it took it took me a while to get in this kind of mindset that uh, to continually yelling or messaging or awakening people on what journey they can be on. Seems like I was burning a little bit too too much energy on that. So here goes the camera. Here goes the lights. Here goes the fitness. That on your own timing you know what's best for you uh, and I, I say that with confidence I say that with value with worth you know what's best for you so uh, I am noticing I am noticing when being on this path uh, the path of greatness self-worth awareness uh, know thyself it gets very narrow because uh, you know it's, it's, it could be very broad with a lot of distractions and helping out others relationships family you name it but as you uh, minimize a lot of things it narrowed down to what needs to get done that's very important that's prioritized and it, it, it's sometimes not even related to work it's just related to just taking some time to yourself either going to the park a beach you know somewhere there's nature so you could just be able to be away from all the distractions so I'm gonna leave you guys with that on the 20th uh, day out of the 21 day fasting uh, I got one more day I'm going to finish strong on the recording aspect behind the scenes definitely doing some push-ups and all the great stuff uh, so with that you guys take care. I hope you guys are having a peaceful day. I know I am. And uh, peace.